Wir sind hier mit dem Regisseur und den beiden Hauptdarstellern vom Film Hide Your Smiling Face. Und ja, den beiden stellen wir jetzt mal, oder den drei stellen wir jetzt mal ein paar Fragen. So, let's start. Um, what was your inspiration to make this movie, uh, to tell this history? Well, my inspiration was kind of based on my own life, as well as just wanting to tell a really honest and realistic story about young people. I don't think that um, a lot of films are as honest as they can be with, with young people, which is another reason why I love the Generation program, because all the films are very different than what I think teenagers usually get to see. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you know a very realistic, honest story about young people, and it was yeah. somewhat based on my own childhood. Okay. Um, and what do you want to tell us? What is your message? Um, I don't know do if there's... Any there, there's not a There's not a clear message, I think, uh, in terms of... Um, just like a one sentence thing, but for me it's just about how uh, sometimes everything isn't okay when you're young and, and that's okay. And it's okay to feel emotions that maybe you're not supposed to, you think you're not supposed to feel and it's okay to uh, have difficulty getting over things and understanding things and, and you know, just, uh, you know, being, being, a, being a kid and that's okay to be confused and, and to, you know, okay. <laughs> going, basically. <laughs> And what about the, the title of the movie, Hide Your Smiley Faces? Uh, the title comes from the idea, like I was sort of just saying, uh, about emotions that you, when something tragic happens, sometimes you think you need to be very upset and outwardly emotional. Um, and there's a scene early on when the boys sort of laugh after, the, after they find out, and it's, it comes from a place of being uncomfortable, not because they think it's funny or anything like that. And it's just, it's sort of, uh, how you're told to act and how you think you should act versus how you feel at that age and, and the confusion and, and the mixed emotions. And so it's uh, it's sort of like somebody telling you to act one way when you want to act a different way. And what about you? Do you have any siblings? And what's, what kind of relationship do you have? Do okay. Start? Um, yeah, I have three, two brothers. Then they're both younger. Yeah. And um, having to play the younger brother in this uh, film was like, it was different because, you know, I'm usually the one pushing him around, bossing him around, but uh, Nate was doing that to me this time, and uh, I had to like put myself in their shoes for a while, and it was, it was different, but it was fun, and he's a good big brother. Uh, well, well, thank you. And I also have uh, younger brothers. I have three, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was basically like one of my one of my brothers at home. We just we had the kind of we had the same bond and we acted the same way, except a little bit of like dramatic stuff. But otherwise, it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and after such a long time of shooting, do you feel a bit like brothers? I do. I do, yeah. yeah. My brother. It was tough saying goodbye. Half heart. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was tough saying goodbye when we uh, were done shooting. Yeah. And finally we were reunited here in Berlin. It was amazing. Yeah. And seeing this just brought back all the memories. Yeah. People always ask if they're really brothers when they watch the film. So yeah. that's a compliment to their acting. Oh, sweet. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, yeah, why do you want to be a part of this production? Um, I wanted to be a part of this production because I knew it could show my skills as an actor because it was so serious, but the way he presented it was serious, but you have to have fun with it because in order to be a kid, you have to feel uncomfortable and you have to do things you're not supposed to, like run away, you have to be your own person, become more independent, and I thought this film really showed that and I wanted to try and uh, uh, I like the message because, because just like Dan said, was saying earlier, like, you know, kids don't see stuff like this a lot, and you know, I I feel bad for the ones that have to deal with a life like this. So it kind of just opens up, like it shows people that you know, some people could be living like this, and you know, kids aren't just what they seem on the surface. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.